And I think one big question out there, Kevin, is as the Fed tackles high inflation, how much weakness they're willing to uh, overcome, I guess, in the jobs market and if that could play out this week. Yeah, well, if you think back during the pandemic, the jobs report is all we ever cared about. I mean, it, it was the uh, biggest report on the docket. Now it seems like it's all about inflation. So last week we had the PCE number and it came in with an indication that maybe, just maybe, inflation was peaking. And I was thinking about it last night as we were celebrating fireworks across the country that maybe we should have had a little bit of a preamble of that. Maybe we should have had some fireworks last week to signal the all clear on inflation. But we'll get a lot better read on the trajectory of inflation next week with CPI. So as important as the jobs number is this week, I don't think it's going to do anything to change the opinion of the Fed. They're solely focused or almost laser solely focused on inflation. So CPI next week might be even bigger than the jobs report this Friday. Are you recommending to clients to stay away from some of the sectors that have been hit hardest by inflation? What comes to mind is consumer discretionary, consumer staples, energy in some cases. Well, it's interesting you say that because if we look at energy, it was one of the best performing sectors for the first half of 2022, which is hard to you know, find any solace in a, in a pretty lousy start. In fact, it was the worst first half of the year since 1970. But energy was a standout. However, over the past three weeks, we've seen energy stocks come down about 20 percent. So I think it presents opportunities to, if you've missed that trade or you don't have exposure there, to maybe re-enter that sector. Consumer discretionary, I think you have to still be a little bit wary. Maybe the consumer is going to come back strong in the holiday spending season. But that's something that in a recessionary environment, and I believe we're in that, you, you may want to underweight discretionary spending a little bit. However, consumer staples, I still think there's opportunity. I still think there's value. You need to be cognizant of what we can do with respect to the supply chains here. But consumer staples that have some pricing power, I think, still need to be in a portfolio. And what's your hot, tech on, hot take on tech right now? If you had to buy a part of the sector, whether it's hardware, software, where would you be putting your money? Whether it's tech or any sector, SEMA, I think it's all about cash on cash and return to shareholders. When you go through a bottoming process, if we're in a recession or heading into a recession, you need to own stocks that are paying dividends. For us, it's all about increasing dividends. So we like big tech, we like boring tech, and we like dividends. As you go through this process, our mantra, and I say it all the time, we want to get paid while we wait. So I think big tech makes sense. And whether it's Microsoft, Apple, or Cisco, looking at these things as building positions, not trading them, not looking two or three months, but taking opportunities to, to add to those positions in volatility and weakness, that's how we trade, uh, that's how we invest as professional traders.